Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy fishing opener today. Today is the official state of Wisconsin fishing opener and uh, we're gonna do some fishing today. So let's go on an adventure. Well, it's definitely going to be a good day for fishing. Um, I'm going to be doing some uh, pretty much bait fishing with worms. I got some night crawlers and bought a cheap, uh, cheap uh, fishing pole just from a local store. Um, it's nothing fancy, so that'll work for today. I've got another one that's rigged up for like um, spoons and stuff like that. Um, later on, too, we'll go through the fishing tackle box and I'll show you what I got. It's it's nothing too fancy again. They're pretty much cheap lures and I just have some bait in here. So yeah, let's do this. Don't know if you guys can see that right there. Mm -hmm. Good spot. Got our night crawlers right there. Picking up a little bit of the gravel, that's okay. It all helps the fish out anyways. My trick with the hook, and this is again not a fishing channel, but my my trick is I literally you can either rip it with your nail or you can use the hook to cut it. So let's try it with the hook. I had a friend tell me that one, and that works. Alrighty, first cast of the fishing season. So winter is gone. It's officially spring. It's been spring for, I don't know, a few, a month, a few weeks. But, uh, you know, we still got a little snow in our way and, uh, you know, it's not too uncommon to see kayaks resting up against a snowbank because it is, you know, an unfrozen lake now, completely thawed out. Yeah. Welcome to Wisconsin. I guess welcome to any state in the northern part of the United States, but welcome to Wisconsin. Let's see what's in my tackle box. This is my tackle box. It's like a lunchbox style tackle box. I don't know what you want to call it, but it opens up. It has these kind of tackle boxes that you can find at like Walmart or other stores that sell fishing gear. Um, I really like these because you can look into them. They keep everything organized. So let's take a look at these. Inside of this tackle box that I have, I've got an emergency poncho, some line, my live bait. Um, I keep everything basically in one spot. That's what I really like about this. My first tackle box, however, that I'm going to open up here has most of the stuff that has been very successful for me. So I've organized it in that manner. I have a lot of these different spoons and um, spinners. This one 
if I can get it out, has been very successful for me. Let me know in the comments below what this would be called. I think it's just a spinner, but it's been very successful for me. I have one over here that we're actually going to put on. I got this from my significant other and her kids. But we're going to put this one on today and try this one out since live bait hasn't really been working for me. Um, but yeah, this is my successful one. I've got some of this fake bait. This one really hasn't worked for me, but it's just for some reason in here. I've got nail clippers that I use for cutting fishing lines. I've got a knife in here. I've got measuring tape. I've got extra fishing, I'm sorry, extra line if I catch a fish. And that's that tackle box. The second tackle box here has a bunch of other stuff with bobbers, hooks. I have leads for the different types of lures that I have. Um, this is my unsuccessful lure box. So things that you're going to see in here are like this that probably should be successful. I just haven't been able to catch anything on it yet. Or I have stuff that I haven't used yet. Like I got some stuff from the kids that, you know, I just haven't used yet. And uh, let me know if the eyes actually work on it, the little eyes on it. I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but I've got a bunch of stuff that I haven't tried out yet. So we're going to be trying it out at some point here. But that is my, uh, that's my tackle box. And it just, and I mean, you got to kind of keep it organized if stuff gets in the way it doesn't fit. But it just goes back like that. I mean, it just closes up really nice. Um, and it, it all fits in here. And you just, you know, you can just put the stuff in here, your gloves. And you just put it back together and you clip it up, which works really nicely. So. Dang geese. Not my type of fish. So no potato today. I did not catch one fish. And that's okay because I had a good time trying and I had a good time getting my fishing gear out. Um, that last line that I threw in, my whole spool came out and tangled up on the, on the reel. So I've got to get that fixed. I'll probably show you guys that probably in a little bit here, but yeah. Um, I can see why this lake maybe isn't fish so much. Um, I don't think it has any real big stuff in it, like big game fish. Um, it's been completely barren here except me. It's just been the Tim show today down here. And uh, again, that is okay because uh, it's nice to get out and see all the wildlife here at Drummond Lake. And it's just been a beautiful day. So I'm getting hungry now. Let's go get something to eat. Okay, we're back on property and we are going to do some cooking. We are going to make fish tacos today. Um, that was to celebrate the successful fishing trip that we went on. However, no fish and that's okay. But uh, starting off for an appetizer on this celebration is uh, some Maryland crab cakes. And you can't beat the price for have those in a second. Uh, today I'm having a 1919 root beer for my drink today. And I will say I like beer in general, but I do like root beer, root beer as well. And 1919 is one of my favorites. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get to the crab cakes here. This is just the appetizer, mind you. It is not the main course. We are still going to have some fish tacos here. Um, even though we didn't catch any, um, we're going to start with some crab cakes and I'll show you how that turned out. Um, what's nice about being at home is that I can just run into the house and grab all the utensils and plates and things that I need that I would have forgotten 
when I was out there, which I did forget, like, to place a new utensil. Um, but we would have made it work out if I would have been out there. But anyways, let's try one of these out. Show you guys the... Show you guys how it turned out. Uh, see how you guys can see this. Is that, like, way too close? Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. So that's how it turned out. And uh, as I'm shouting into the camera, let's see how it tastes. Mm, not too bad. These are just made in the store. Nothing too fancy, but... Um, hmm. mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they're already pre-cooked from what the package told me. So basically I'm heating them up and just making them tasty. So I showed you the side that's maybe a little bit more burnt. Here's the other side. So it's kind of like how I make my grilled cheeses. One side's burnt, one side just toasted or not even toasted. Um, yeah, it's good. Tastes delicious. Now that we're done with the crab cakes, um, I did bring a beer out today because we're going to need that for our fish tacos. And of course, since we didn't catch any fish, we are going to have our favorite fish in a bag. And I brought the scissors out to cut these open. And we're just going to season them. Um, we're just going to season them with some uh, salt, pepper, um, some onion powder, and this Mrs. Dash garlic and herb blend. And then we have some taco seasoning to put with it once it's all cooked. <laughs> I don't know. Comment below to let me know what you think about fish in a bag. I don't know. If I threw a comment in there, it'd probably be... <clears throat> I don't know. Subpar. Hmm. They still work, though. Alright, so, some salt... That comes out nice. This pepper doesn't like to come out much at all. If it listens to me. So we got some pepper. Well, that's a lot better now, but uh, you really got to shake the bejesus out of that. Some onion powder. <clears throat> and we don't need to season the... We don't need to season this a lot because we're going to have taco seasoning on it regardless. I just like to add a little bit more spice to it. Just to make it taste a little better. There we go. And we need a little oil. Which I'm just going to do one of these things here. This is a trick I learned in college. You just use the lid to hold the meat when you forget to put like the oil in or something. Throw your oil in. This is just olive oil. And uh, yeah, start it on up. So... Cheers, everybody. Okay, a little freelance flipping here. I'm holding the camera and I'm going to try not to dump the fish all over me. Na, 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 na. Always use a spatula. Yeah, you can use a... Um, you can use whatever you want, but I use a spatula. The rubber end just kind of gets under the fish better. I don't know if I showed you that in the last video, but I'm going to try to do this now without it. <laughs> hey, it's better than the last one. We just need to get this cooked. It doesn't need to look good because it's going to become fish tacos here soon. And if it looks a little bland to you, throw a little seasoning on it. They'll never know. Also, if you didn't know this, Try not to cook on an angle because you've got frying fish in boiling hot oil. Basically leaning on a hill right now. I wouldn't do that. Frying pan will fall right at you. Or maybe stand over here and look this way. And it'll just fall off onto the ground, but then you won't have your you won't have your food for the day. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. And uh, the fish is done. It definitely has been done for a while and uh, probably got a little burnt again, but now I'm just gonna chop it up. And uh, you probably wanna get the oil out of this too, but I'm gonna first chop it up, because I've already started, so I can't go back now. 
again, you just chop it up into little fish bits. And I'm going to take care of the oil right now. All right, the oil is taken care of. Now we've just got the fish in there. Um, and we're going to do two things. You probably have made you probably have made tacos before, but you're going to add water and some taco seasoning. So I'm going to turn this back on in a moment here. I'll turn it back on now and add the water and taco seasoning. And I'm not going to add all the taco seasoning because I don't have a ton of fish in here, but you get to be the one to make that decision when you make your own fish tacos. These videos are brought to you by a camera on my phone and myself. And of course, people like you who help me out um, just viewing these videos. Um, I'm hoping to incorporate some more camping into these videos. I know we've had a lot of these day hikes and day trips and things like that. And I'm going to continue to have those. But I'm also going to hopefully incorporate some more camping and such into it come this upcoming summer. So um, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, thanks guys again. I appreciate it. So the fish is still a little watery and uh, I'm going to let it sit on low heat, which I have it on right now. And I'm just going to kind of let it um, evaporate steam out of the pot the pan here so that it can uh, be more like tacos and less like um, fish stew so that's what we're gonna do now the tacos are done I'm gonna set them over here and while this is still hot I'm gonna get out my uh, um, my cheese I'm gonna get some of my condiments out here we're not gonna need this I'm gonna throw that down we got some of our cheese we've got some taco shells um, and we have some lettuce here there we go we're getting some color now just shutting the heat off now and just letting the remainder heat of just cook it or toast it or whatever you want to call it and uh, yeah I'm gonna call that good that actually looks pretty good Really, you just want to heat it up because I hear if you heat it up and you fold it, it's less likely to rip on the folded seam. So, well, you guys let me know in the comments uh, what I really know. Um, let me put it back on there. I do have plates because I am a little bit prepared today. All right, and then I've got a spoon here. Let's get the tacos out here. I'll show you what they look like before I put the cheese and the cheese and uh, um, lettuce on it. So that's what they look like. I can't. I don't even know if you can. Yeah, you can see them. That's what it looks like. They look and smell really good. Um, they really do. For a guy who just goes and camps out for fun, those look amazing. And especially after a long day of fishing, um, it just sounds really good to have some fish tacos. There we go. And I guess I really don't, I mean, do I really need a plate? I don't know. I'm probably going to need it because I'm going to drip all over. But there you go. Fish tacos. Fish tacos. Mm. Mm. I really like eating the flour tortillas, but the corn ones are just amazing with fish tacos. I love them. This is a really easy camping meal fish you can do chicken or whatever type of tacos you want but let's talk fish you either catch fish or you buy some fish you know fry them up chop them up throw some water and uh, taco mix in there 
and just have your condiments that you're going to put on there and some shells and you're ready to go. Hey everybody, thanks again for coming along on this adventure. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's been a really fun time getting out and uh, starting off my fishing expose for the year. But uh, if you guys could like, subscribe, and comment, that would greatly help me out a lot. And uh, yeah, it would feed the need for this hobby. So uh, without do, I'll see you guys on the next adventure.